Hi guys, today's reading is going to be messages from the person on your mind right now. So we'll take a look and see what this person is thinking and feeling about you and about the connection. What is it that they want to tell you but perhaps are holding back? This is going to be a reading for those of you that are going to resonate with it the most. If you are after personal reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address will be listed just below the video. bottom is the nine of wands the nine of wands is an energy that suggests things haven't worked out between you and or things aren't necessarily working out between you and the person on your mind um, this could be an energy of you like every time you talk to them or every time you know you see them you end up having it's like this you, you always expect some sort of conflict or you always expect some sort of trouble or you just expect something to to go wrong um it's an energy of them being your person being very guarded being very closed off being wounded but of course it could also be your energy the person that i'm connecting to maybe this is someone who someone whom you love but also someone who has hurt you, someone who has hurt you with their acts, with their words, with their intentions, someone who has left you feeling very wounded. Maybe this is someone who has betrayed your trust. And the person that I'm speaking to, maybe you are someone who is now, you know, you might be a little bit suspicious of who you give your trust to or who you give your heart to. Because I feel like you've trusted this person. I feel like this is someone who you were very open with this person. You were very, you're very comfortable around this person. You were very much your authentic self. You were very, like you showed this person this like really raw, intimate version of yourself. Maybe that you haven't shown you know, this part of yourself to other people. And this is someone who has hurt you. This is someone who's left you wounded. This is someone who has betrayed you. I'm picking up that this is someone who has hurt you. But they play the victim in a way. Like they have hurt you or they've like betrayed your trust. I'm also picking up like manipulation in this person's energy. So maybe they were very like emotionally, emotionally manipulative. Maybe they were very manipulative with their words. Um, but this, I feel like this person did something wrong. They did something or said something to hurt you and then you suffered the consequences or you had a reaction to their to their hurt to their actions and they got triggered by that i feel like this is someone who has played victim in situations that they've created they also created the situation of distance between you and them like a physical distance an emotional distance or just like a distance of space i 
think that this person doesn't realize or maybe they do maybe they know exactly what they're doing but i feel like this person is talking about you and about the situation and they're trying to manipulate people that they speak with into thinking that they're innocent into thinking that they did nothing wrong so they're trying to flip the story but you you know the truth I think this is someone who loves you. I feel like this is definitely someone who, like there's still an emotional thread that ties the two of you together. I think this person either claims to love you, to love you or still does love you. But I feel like there's so many things that are unresolved between you and this individual. I feel like there's miscommunication or misunderstanding. I also feel like I'm getting that the two people that are involved in the situation, they have two very different ideas of what looks what love looks like or how it feels what it should feel like or how they should express it um, and I think that someone he showed up in the relationship in their own way but it may not have aligned with the other person's expectations so I also feel like someone he carries a lot of unresolved issues like maybe insecurities or past traumas um, and this energy is so present in them that it leads them to behave and act out in really hurtful ways they're not understanding that their behavior is being influenced by their issues and it may have caused them to unintentionally hurt you to unintentionally you know, cause you pain. I see that there is a lack of emotional awareness in this person's energy. I feel like this is someone who struggles to understand their emotions. They struggle to stabilize or even regulate their emotions. And I think it's, I can see that this person or someone he has reacted in hurtful ways. There's also a bit of a selfish kind of energy. Like maybe this person prioritized their emotions over yours. Or like they were acting in a way that was hurtful to you, but they did not realize their actions. And the impact that it had on your feelings. I do get a little bit of like, I do get patterns of, manipulation or control or even emotional abuse i also feel like this is someone who i think this is someone who has a lot of a lot of fear i feel like this is someone who is Maybe they are struggling with insecurities and they're struggling with, um, I feel like it's complicated. I really do. I feel like the situation here is very complicated, especially emotionally complicated. I'm picking up something about the childhood set the stage for their current behavior. Um, I also feel like there's someone here that's deeply emotionally wounded. So I don't know if this person has been hurt in the past and... You know it's causing them to go around hurting you and hurting other people but it's like they're carrying the pain of something from the past 
I feel like this person has made some maybe efforts to reconnect with you. But they felt like what they said was discounted or they felt like what they said was dismissed. I do think that this person still has strong feelings for you. They may, you know, they may love you. They may still be in love with you. But whatever this is, whatever the situation was, it was painful and difficult to deal with. I think that this situation has hurt a lot and it has hurt you and this person a lot. And I think you both, the both of you experience some very negative emotions from out of this situation like anger distress like pain i think it was like a roller coaster it went up and down and sometimes you know it, it felt so good that you wanted to stay in that space all the time but sometimes it felt so bad that you just wanted to get off I feel like this person felt very attached to you. Um, and I also feel like you were willing to forgive this person for anything. That's not necessarily... Um, it might, you know, I feel like maybe you didn't have a lot of boundaries. I think maybe you... Because you felt so strongly about this person that you allowed them to treat you the way that you they did. I feel like this person is afraid to let go or maybe you're afraid to let go they're afraid to let you go because they're afraid to lose you i think that in the in the past as well this person struggles with being alone and i think they have stayed in unhealthy relationships um because they were afraid to be on their own they were afraid to be left behind I think this person has to concentrate on making themselves happy because when they're unhappy they can't make someone else happy and I think that's why they hurt you because there's some unhappiness or unfulfillment in this person's energy the person that I'm speaking to or the person that I'm speaking about maybe I'm getting that someone can't trust themselves they don't trust themselves enough they feel like they don't feel like they're strong enough to handle this situation or they don't feel like maybe it's you maybe you you don't feel like you can trust yourself if this person were to reach out you feel like you you know just easily go back to them i don't know it's just it's just this It's an energy that kind of lacks self-confidence or it's an energy that feels very powerless. I think there was some sort of, it feels like a dangerous trap in the relationship. I do think there was a lot of emotional, like it was a, a lot of emotional roller coaster. But I think there was a lot of fighting, there was a, a lot of fighting, a lot of arguing, like it's a standing up for yourself um, and I think this person has taught you to recognize your feelings and to manage them in a healthy way I think that this is someone who thinks about you and who wants to reach out and who wants to connect with you but I think this person is holding on to, I feel like they're resentful or I think they're maybe jealous. They could be holding on to them being bitter, especially if you were the one to walk away and have ended this relationship. There's a bitterness or there's a res resentful kind of energy that's kind of 
festering inside this person and they're feeding off this energy and it might manifest in them being very angry or just being prone to emotional outbursts this person finds memories of you overwhelming because they can't stand to lose the fact that they've lost you or that you know they're struggling that they've hurt you the way that they have I think this person there's a pain in their energy and i think they're scared that maybe you don't love them anymore or they're scared that you don't think about them anymore um or you no longer you know you no longer want them or maybe you've moved on this person feels like you're the one that got away you're the one that they could have had you're the one that got away they feel like you know what it feels like on a spiritual level like even though you both met each other in the physical realm i think on a spiritual level you weren't ready to meet each other and so it kind of feels like you passed each other by it's like a set of parallel lines running close side by side one another but never really meeting in the end this person feels very stuck they are also blocking themselves from moving forward or they are blocking themselves from reconnecting or communicating with you what's keeping them block is this emotional um energy it's an emotional blockage they they're very bitter they're very bitter and the story that they tell themselves the story the version that they tell their family and friends is is not what really happened they're trying to spin it in a way where they appear innocent or they appear like you know they did nothing wrong i don't know if this person is prone to lying like maybe this person is a compulsive liar maybe this person doesn't even realize that they're lying I, I don't know what i don't know what's up with them not being able to tell a truthful account of what happened but they're stuck in this energy where they're wondering like how did this happen how did they get how did the you know they get to where they are how did this just how did things just fall apart how did like it's all really overwhelming and you know what they've created it's interesting but it feels like they were the ones they were the ones to create this like distance even though maybe you were the one to cut ties and end the relationship or walk away but long before that happened they were already creating some sort of distance maybe it was an emotional distance but i think this person is struggling internally I also feel like there is love involved here but i feel like there's a misalignment i think that there's different like there's love and then there's love and i think there's different intensities of love and maybe like someone was more in love with the other person or someone cared for the for the other person but they but not in the same way that they cared for them I don't know there's this energy of sort of misalignment but definitely i think this person regrets creating this disconnection that you're experiencing right, right now but it boils boils down to a fear in the energy them being afraid maybe they were afraid of how much they loved you maybe they were afraid of um you know that they were falling in love with you or maybe this was all really new to them and they were scared they were scared of you know plunging into this heart first so this person pulled away and now they regret pulling away their emotions are a little bit all over the place and i think that 
even from your interactions with this person like they say one thing and they mean another like it just doesn't the math is not mapping here it just doesn't add up like they say that you know they want to be in a relationship but then they struggle with commitment or they say they want to show up for the relationship but then they're an absent energy so i think it's someone who is i feel like this person like there's a connection that you still have to this person so i don't know if you are still connected with this person on social media i don't know if you still have their their number or i don't know if this is like an energetic resonance that we're picking up or an emotional resonance or it could indicate the possibility of a connection in the future but there's still some sort of connection but it's not it's Like there's a lot, it's intense because I feel like there's a lot of unresolved feelings or unresolved issues here. And I think this person wants to talk, like they might be writing and deleting their messages to you. They might be uh, checking out whatever you're posting online. They may be talking to their friends and family about you. But again, I just think that this person needs to confront the truth of what really happened. And look, it takes two to tango, right? But I think that this person is, I think they hurt you, they acted in the way that hurt you and then what's really surprising is that they are surprised that you had a reaction to their hurt, like to this hurt, that you had a reaction to their hurtful actions and they got triggered by that, which is really interesting. But this is someone, like you can feel them pulling on your energy, you can feel them thinking of you, you might even getting a lot of signs about this person there may be some sort of date that's coming up here that is significant to the both of you it could be like a birthday or anniversary date or you know something special or maybe that you were supposed to attend i don't know but there's something key that you, you can feel like there's still a thread that ties you to this person and i think that there is still a connection that's possible in the future to this person but I'm curious, like, is this person or are the both of you willing to resolve whatever this is, whatever, you know, caused this relationship to fall apart? Because there's something here that I feel like it's like this big elephant in the room. There's something here that has a very weighty influence on the reading and on the energies on the relationship something key that got in the way of the relationship whether you know them it was them putting you in a third uh, in a lover's triangle in a third party situation whether it was them being non-committal you know whether it was this energy of not you know like not being in alignment with one another but this or whether it was these emotional blockages there was something key that i feel like unfortunately influence the relationship in a in a negative way all right guys these are your messages thank you for watching and listening please show your support to the channel by liking and subscribing thanks guys again for your time your attention keep shining your light bye for now